Hey everybody, it's Matt here, the Toku Dragon, and we are talking about some Tokusatsu news that dropped just last week on Twitter, but you might not have seen it because, well, there's a lot going on on Twitter right now. So, either way, we heard that there is actually going to be a 20 years later both for Hurricaneger and Abba Ranger. And what's interesting is, is that when it comes to Hurricaneger, we've already had, if you don't know, a 10 years after. So there's actually a sequel to that 10 years after that actually came out 10 years ago, which is quite odd to think about, but point is, is that we are getting a sequel to both of these series, and there definitely was the question that came up as to why, not so much trashing Hurricane in any way, but just kind of wondering, why are we getting a sequel to this show? Is this show very popular? Well, I have some of my theories that I'm going to talk about a little bit later in the video, but right now, we can confirm that not only are we getting a 20 years after V Cinema for both, but the cast is actually coming back for both. And that's actually very interesting because when it comes to Abba Ranger, there were some specific cast members that actually retired, or at the very least have not been uh, in a lot of, uh, you know, different, uh, not just Abba Ranger or Super Sentai, but just generally not a lot of productions when it comes to acting that are actually coming back just for this. So that's actually really cool. And so we're going to get both of those now. You know, first thing that everyone thinks about is, oh, are we going to maybe get these in the U.S. in some way or another? Uh, there, there was definitely some interesting stuff going on where some people were talking about this on different uh, websites online, some news websites, that it was a, uh, like, Dino Thunder was coming back. Well, no, Dino Thunder is not coming back. This is Abba Ranger 20 years later, the Japanese version of Super Sentai. If you're on this channel, I assume you know, but if you don't, Power Rangers is actually Japanese. There's Japanese footage, that's where the show comes from. It was licensed by Saban, and then Disney, and then Saban again, and then Hasbro. So now it's in Hasbro's hands, and so when it comes to uh, Super Sentai, that is quote-unquote Japanese Power Rangers. Sentai, by the way, meaning squadron. Initially started as like a paramilitary kind of thing and then kind of went uh, very interesting, like mystical, more sci-fi. Um, not that it wasn't sci-fi originally, but like even more delving into sci-fi. And then it went very much, um, you know, kind of magical with Zeo Ranger and then that became Mighty Morphin and then here we are today. Point is though, is that is this going to come out in the U.S. in any way? Like, you know, when it comes to licensing it and being on a DVD or maybe Blu-ray or something or streaming or something like that with English subtitles. Well, here's the thing, though. So what we have to talk about is the fact that when it comes to who owns the rights to Super Sentai in the U.S., it's Hasbro. And it seems to, that they're actually licensing it out to Shout Factory like they have been for a while now, or at least, well, you know, Saban was when they initially had the rights before uh, Hasbro. But the thing is, though, is that they're doing it under the E1 banner from the looks of it from the latest DVDs, and I talked about that a while back. But here's the thing, specifically it was for the Five Men DVDs, but here's the thing. We have not seen any films come out in the U.S. Now, why is that? Well, there is some scuttlebutt. There's been some talk. That is a real word. There's been some talk on the grapevine that when it comes to Super Sentai rights, Hasbro only has the rights to the shows themselves. So not only is this considered a new production, but also the fact that when it comes to the films, we've again not seen any films and it's not just because many of them are short especially on Super Sentai's end but it's the fact that they are simply not licensed by Hasbro from what we've heard so I mean we can even see that when it comes to something like Jetman like older Super Sentai it's come out of the US five men as well fairly recently but simply zero and I mean zero movies so, will this come out in the U.S.? In my opinion, no. Why? Because it would have to be licensed separately. When you look at the actual, I mean, it might be an hour, hour and 20 minutes. So, when you look at the runtime, maybe it'll be worth it to come out on, let's say, DVD or Blu-ray. But, since we've seen no standalone stuff from Super Sentai or even Kamen Rider when it comes to films in the U.S., I have a feeling that we're just not going to get it in any way, shape, or form. Which is sad to say, but, you know... Internet exists. I'll just keep it there. But hopefully one day, though, we can see it licensed in some form or another. Now, why would this even come out in the first place? Again, not trashing uh, Hurricaneger and not trashing Abba Ranger. Well, here's the thing that a lot of people don't really talk about. A lot of people I see online don't talk about... They talk about when these, let's say, miniseries or when these specials or whatnot, when they air on what I'm about to mention, but they don't talk about it in question on why we've had so much more, at least in my opinion, so much more content 
content come out when it comes to tokusatsu, when it comes to Toei tokusatsu uh, within the last like few years or so. So Toei has their own streaming service, the Toei Tokusatsu uh, Hero Fan Club, if, if I remember correctly. So when it comes to the streaming service, they, of course, just like any streaming service, just like Disney Plus, when you think about with all the uh, Marvel shows that are on Disney Plus, they need content. So when it comes to Hurricane Drew, I would not be surprised, maybe in DVD sales, I mean, that's stuff that I have, I'm not so much privy to. If you've seen any, like, DVD sales or Blu-ray sales for Hurricane Drew, I don't know if there's Blu-ray for it, but you've seen them spike online or something like that. That could be a reason, but I would not be surprised if it comes to, when it comes to uh, the popularity of Hurricane Drew, it's more so lying in streaming, you know, numbers that we aren't privy to, that we don't have access to. I would not be surprised if, perhaps on streaming services, Hurricane Drew and Abba Ranger have actually proven more successful than we might think. Again, it sounds like I'm saying that they suck or something. No, it's just that when I think about either the U.S. fandom or even people talking about the Japanese fandom and what they're into, I don't really hear a lot of people clamoring for Hurricane Drew and Abba Ranger. So I'm under the impression that it, unless there's some huge fan base that just never has been talked about in the U.S. for those two shows in Japan, I would not be surprised if just over time, through DVD sales, maybe even DVD rentals, I'm sure they're privy to that information as well, of course, and also through streaming, those shows have proven very popular, whereas other shows simply haven't. And also something else to mention as well is, you know, when it comes to Super Sentai actors and when it comes to Super Sentai in general, when you look at something like Kamen Rider or even just for any other kind of Super Sentai crossover, you can bring back one Super Sentai member and be fine. Kamen Rider crossovers as well, you can bring back one of many different Kamen Riders, depending on the show, and be just fine. Heck, you can even bring back the suits and just have people voice over the characters. But when it comes to a V Cinema, a 20 years, 10 years later type of special, you really need the entire cast back. So I would argue that perhaps we're in a situation where when you look at how old some of the actors are, how many of them have retired, how many of them just simply don't want to come back, other commitments and whatnot, they simply just cannot get every other actor for some other shows that, you know, are popular, that could end up having a 10 or 20 years later. They simply just can't get those actors back. And instead of trying to do like recasts or anything like that, or just go on without them, they've simply decided that the best bet is to just not have them there. So I would argue that perhaps that might be why. It might just be this nice little, this wonderful little combo of both having actors that are available and also having a popular series, maybe grown in popularity or has been popular for a long time, and being able to put both of those together and make some sweet, sweet money <laughs> and some sweet, sweet magic as well and to make fans like us happy. So I have a feeling that those are the reasons why, but if you know any more concrete reasons, I would love to read those down below. I would love to learn why these two in particular are happening. Um, I've been showing some stills of some new forms and whatnot are going to be coming up for both, so that's pretty cool as well. Also, some new merch is coming out as well to promote both. So for any of you uh, merch lovers out there, I'm not the biggest merch lover, but because uh, it's just too expensive, too rich for my blood. But for any of you that are fans out there, I am going to be showing on screen right now. Some more stuff has been announced, which is pretty cool. So this is going to be very interesting, and I want to hear your thoughts on it down below. Are you interested in these two specials? Are you not interested in these two specials? And what specials would you be interested in seeing? I would love to hear about all of that in the comment section down below. So, either way though, love you all, take care, and tune in next time. So, I'll show you.